Chapter 19 The Other Nine Wood Hills What is this? The path that will take you to the Crystal Tower. <laughs> Who are- Follow that path, and you will find the answers you seek. Answers? Luce Farna. Huh? If you wish to find her, you must brave the Crystal Tower. Then our mom's up there somewhere? She's still alive? The four keys you collected give you the right to know. If you have the courage. <gasps> She's a vanished! Who in the grimoire was that? Rain, I'm going. Wait. Well, what for? Why did that woman tell us all that? She must have had a reason. Well, how in the honk am I supposed to know? Does that mean you're gonna quit? After everything? No, I just... <sighs> Come on! Think about it! There's something funny about Grimoire. Well, yeah, I'll admit it's kinda weird. I mean, it's full of little people and... No, I'm not talking about that. The prophecies. They treat us like characters in some kind of story. It feels like someone wrote out a plan, and you and I are just going along with it. What? Whoa, 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 whoa. Rain, you are really overthinking this. You're underthinking it. I... Okay. Maybe you are right about that. But don't act like this story is writing itself. We almost died a bunch of times. If we hadn't collected so many mirages, we never could have made it this far. The way I see it, we did that all on our own. It wasn't... pre... uh... Atama? I think maybe the word you the want is preordained? That's the one. There's no way it could have been preordinated. Uh-huh. Or predestified, right? Uh, all of this is starting to make my vocabulary the hurt. Well, one thing's for sure. We have no choice. Echo did say that there was no changing the prophecy. Rain? Okay, let's head for the Crystal Tower. Oh, okay. My son insists upon seeing some mirages up close, but I have no idea what he's talking about. Okay, so it's white and fluffy, and it kind of looks like a tiny dog, but it isn't really a dog. Oh, I say, do you think you might be able to find the one he's talking about for him? Huh? Say, uh, the stairs here aren't gonna do anything crazy like collapse, right? Don't let a little thing like that to stop you. You do know we can't fly, right? Huh? How did we wind up back home? We the didn't. Take a closer the look. Yeah, it's similar, but not the same. It's... Old-fashioned, I guess you might say? Yeah, and unlike Ninewood Hills, this is a real ghost town. Look, Lon. 
This must be the Crystal Tower. Turn back. Ah! Huh? Magitek armor! Who are you? I don't... <sighs> Turn back. You must not... go any... further. What do you mean? <laughs> Holy... Are you a summoner? <sighs> Just run! Her. I can sense something human and mirage at the same time. How's that work? And that Magitek armor. We've never seen anything like it. Whatever the case, she's not the playing around. Be the careful. Take this!
mustn't. Dude, what was that? <sighs> she's okay, just passed out. She's barely even hurt. I guess she's pretty strong. It seemed like she didn't the really want to do any of that. <sighs> as long as she's okay, we better keep on moving before someone else can attack us. Sure. How dutiful of them to come and tame the Esper in a stroke. A lovely little flourish. All the same, they've merely doomed the last ox to the yoke. It's really different inside, too. And I don't see any elevators. Huh! No way! We'll just have to climb up one the step at a time. Come on! I know we can do it! Yeah! Easy! Says the fox hitching a ride! the place? That mirage menace has got to be close now. Oh, <laughs> wasting no time, I see. You're going down. Ah! Oh! What the? What? You lunatic! I'm sorry, I thought you were a mirage. Last I heard, there was a real dangerous one prowling the area. You're the only danger here. Do you always lunge at strangers without thinking? I said I'm sorry. So, let's roll. Uh, where are you headed? Hmm? You say that as though you actually believe I'll let you come along with me. Well, of course I am. A dangerous mirage is on the loose in this forest. And it's not safe to be wandering around by yourself. What a hero. You know, I'm perfectly capable of handling- So, it's settled. I'm Snow. And you? Celeste. You know, it's rude to- Celeste, huh? I like it. Okay, off we go. Interrupt. So tell me about this mirage. Well, according to the villagers, the thing's supposed to be some kind of colossal beast. Somebody's got to step up and do something about it. And you let them talk you into hunting it? <sighs> Birds! Show yourself! What was that? I have you now, birds! What have we here? So you're the mirage everyone's talking about. Oh yeah, you look like trouble to me. Am I seeing things, birds? Is that you? Something's different about you, is it the hair? Well, you're done scaring the villagers. I'm putting you down right now. Nice try. You'll need more than an extreme makeover to pull the wool over Gilgamesh's eyes. Oh, I see. I'll bet it was you that set that vicious monster on me before. Any last words? Listen to you. It's like you're having separate conversations. Hey, Gilgamesh, right? 
Do you think that monster that attacked you could have been- I've awaited this day a hundred years! It's over, Bart! Your reign of terror is over! This is insane. Okay, Gilga Fresh, get ready for a fistful of lawn! Uh, first of all, Lon, you need to pay better attention to people's names. Second of all, Gilgamesh, has he even noticed that he's fighting against us now? I don't think this so. Poor Celeste. She... He's surrounded by idiots on all sides. Here I am. I'll take it from here. That's what happens to mirages that misbehave. The villagers want you gone, so tough luck! Huh? Sorry? Villagers? Just stop! Listen, Snow! Huh? What are you doing? Don't tell me you're on his side! Would you just settle down? Listen when people talk to you! Hey, buffoon! Who? Me? Earlier, you mentioned that some vicious monster attacked you, right? What did the thing look like? Um, I suppose that I would describe it as a colossal beast. But it met a quick end at the hands of Gilgamesh and his mighty blade. Snow, do you see now? That dangerous mirage is gone. And you, Gilgamesh, this isn't the person you've been looking for. His name's Snow, not Bart's. Well, well when you point it out, he seems dangerous. It doesn't look especially beast-like. Whoa! 
So, Bart's is someone else? I just knew that something was off. Oh, that was my bad, Gargle Musher. Man, you totally had me fooled there. <laughs> I like your style. You may not be Bart's, but you're just as worthy an opponent. I had the wrong guy, but you put up a good fight. Like your style. Do they even hear each other? Any tough guy willing to go around with me? Hey, we are now bros. Bros, you say? Bros. I like the sound of that. Man, the two of us must have been destined to go head to head today. Do you think we, like, knew each other in some past life? No, not that I remember. Then, have you ever been a frog? No, not that I remember. They deserve each other. the ch- 